It's uh, Dr. Stead for you, Dr. Harry. Oh, uh, uh, come in, Dr. Stead, uh, come in. Good afternoon, Harry. Uh, uh, would you like anything to drink? Uh, coffee, tea, some biscuits, or... Uh... Don't try to soften me up, Harry. Let's not beat around the bush. You are an absolute shower. Uh, oh, uh, oh, well, uh, uh, I... Why don't we get straight to the point? What do you mean by this appraisal form, Harry? Eh? Uh, well, uh, I... Uh... I normally like to see a lot of attachments. In the normal course of events, there's nothing I like more than an appraisal form with lots of attachments on it. Uh, and your form has got a lot of attachments on it, hasn't it? Uh, yes. But then I looked at the description of some of these attachments, Harry. Or what do you think I saw? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Well, let's just have a look at one of them then, shall we? This one, for example. Personal Development Plan 0015. Description, Beano 0015. Ooh. So, I had a look at some of these attachments of yours, Harry. Or what do you think I saw? Uh, I don't know. Well, I'll tell you then, shall I? Pictures of the Bash Street kids. Pictures of Calamity James. Pictures of Desperate Dan. Pictures of the Numbskulls. Oh, uh, yes. I expect you thought you were being funny, Harry, did you? Uh, no, uh, I... Uh, oh, well, uh, uh, I... Doesn't seem so clever now, does uh, it? Uh, well, um... Now, we can do this in two ways, Harry. We can do it the easy way, or we can do it the hard way. Which way would you prefer? Uh, the easy way, please. Well, we're not going to do this the easy way, Harry. We're not going to do this the easy way, because I don't like the easy way. I never do these things the easy way. I only mentioned the easy way to find out how much of a sissy you were. I like the hard way. Do you know why I like the hard way, Harry? Uh, no. I had an only son, Harry. I don't expect you knew I had an only son, did you? Uh, no, I, d I didn't. He was a thoughtful little chap. I can't remember what his name was. I think it was Edwin, but it would have been awkward to ask. Anyway, he said to me one day, Daddy... What's it like being a doctor? What's it like being the one people turn to when they're in trouble? What's it like being the one who has to give them bad news? What's it like sometimes when you want to help them but you can't? I can see his little face now, looking up at me. I see. It was just after Christmas. I looked up at the Christmas tree, which had a lovely angel on the top of it. And then I said to him, Harry, I said, can I have a go on your Scalectrics? <laughs> and he said, it's not Scalectrics, Daddy. It's Scalextric. <laughs> I never see that son of mine anymore, Harry. I never communicate with him. I don't know where he lives or what he does for a living. Oh. Now, you listen to me. I can't have you struck off. The appraisal process doesn't allow for that. It does, however, permit me to inflict misery on absolute showers like you. How does that strike you, Harry? Uh, uh, uh boo, boo, boo. What did you say, Harry? Uh, uh, boo, boo, boo. And, uh, uh, what's this? What was that, Harry? Uh, it was a, uh, a hand signal. What sort of hand signal was it? Uh, well, it was a, uh, uh <coughs> sort of a special one. Special hand signal? You gave me a special hand signal. Well, uh, <coughs> uh, yes. Do you realise what that hand signal was? Well, uh, <coughs> uh, yes. It was an invitation from a member of the Gay Buffaloes asking me to meet him by moonlight. Oh, uh, of course. Well, um, would you like to meet me by moonlight? No, Harry, I would not. Huh, suit yourself. <sighs> oh, very well, Harry. You've given me the buffalo's distress call, and I suppose I'm obliged to respond, you sly blighter. This doesn't get you off the hook entirely, you know. Mm -hmm. However, I was going to recommend you for a spell with some special allocation patients, but I shall commute your sentence to attendance at a professional development course. Uh, oh, well, uh, that doesn't sound too bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, thank you very much, Dr Stead. You may consider yourself very lucky, Harry. Dr McStricty for you, Dr Underslider. Yeah, all right. Uh, come in, darling, come in. Oh, thank you, Dr Underslider, not to refer to me in that over-familiar manner. 
Over-familiarity is the work of the devil. Oh, uh, sorry. Oh, I was only being friendly. Hey, Will, let's not run before we can walk, shall we? Uh, Will, uh, uh, would you like a, a cup of coffee? Coffee? I never drink the stuff. It goads the pulses to a frenzy and stimulates the taste buds to an unnatural degree. Uh, what about tea? Is there no water to be had? Do you not have taps in this surgery? Uh, no, you, you can have water if you like. I will, I do like. Uh, fancy a uh, fancy biscuit? Biscuits, you see, biscuits. When the Israelites were in the wilderness, did God send them manna or did he send them chocolate hobnobs? Uh, was it the uh, hobnobs? Ach, no, it wasn't it. It was the manna. Uh, well, I bet they wished it had been old knobs. Hey, well, that's as may be. Uh, right, uh, just a uh, glass of water for uh, Dr. McStricty, uh, Samantha. And uh, I'll have the same. <coughs> Vodka. Is that young lady one of your secretaries, Dr. Underslider? Uh, yeah, I suppose she is, yeah. How many young ladies like that do you have working here? Uh, well, as many as I can get. Huh, I see. No. I think it's about time we had a word about this appraisal form of yours. Uh, right, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, uh, was it uh, all right then, was it? Oh, I don't think all right is a phrase that I would use to describe it. Oh, dear me, no. I don't think all right meets the case at all. Oh. To be perfectly honest with you, Dr. Anderslider, I've never seen such an appraisal form as this. Never. It's the appraisal form the like of which I've never seen. Never have I seen another such appraisal form as this one. Uh, I think I heard somebody calling for help. I didn't hear anything. Uh, I'm sorry to break up our chat, but I think somebody might have, uh, you know, collapsed in the waiting room. I'd better go and see. You stay right where you are, Dr. Underslider. I'm sure those young ladies of yours could give adequate succour to any collapsee. And I haven't finished what I was going to say. Uh, well, uh, I can explain. Can you, Dr. Underslider? Can you really? Do you really think you can explain the workings of genius? Genius? Aye. Can it really be explained? Or is it simply a gift from the good Lord above? A blessing bestowed from on high? This form of yours, you see. I don't believe I've ever seen so many attachments. So many! It was dazzling, overwhelming. And then to top it off, your suggestion about professional development. It was brilliant. Simply brilliant. Uh, well, oh, oh, I'm glad you liked it. Aye, well, I did like it, Dr. Underslider. As a matter of fact, I liked it very much. I think you've got a great deal to offer, Dr. Underslider, if you know what I mean. Uh, oh, right. Oh. I say, what a delicious meal. I believe I might round it off with a glass of port and a slice of Dundee cake. Good afternoon, Gladstone. Good lord. It's a wet the bed stead, isn't it? Hello, old chap, hello. Fancy you turning up here. I didn't know you were a member. I'm not. I've been trying to track you down, Gladstone, as if you didn't know. Have you really? Well, it's lovely to see you, I must say. Have a drink, Stenners. No, thank you. I say, Stenners. I was just talking to somebody the other day about how we were at school together. Oh, those were the days, weren't they? We had some fun back then, didn't we? It wasn't very much fun in the changing rooms, Gladstone, when you kept flicking me on my bottom with your wet towel. Oh, come on, Stenners. It was a jolly good wheeze, wouldn't you say? It was nothing of the sort. And as for that time, you put bees in my trousers. Oh, 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 yes. Absolutely hilarious. Easily have died. Oh, well, it was all part of the rough and tumble of school life. Character forming stuff. Hmm. However, I didn't come here to reminisce, Gladstone. Didn't you? Oh, well, what a pity. Uh, well, uh, what did you come here for? Well, I'll tell you, shall I? I came here, Gladstone, to talk to you, or perhaps I should say, to corner you, about your appraisal. Oh.